Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Simon Leach. I just wanted to share with you a quick tip. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I get my clay from the supplier, uh, I find comes, my clay comes in a packet like this, but I find that sometimes the clay is too hard to throw with. Or maybe just that you know, you've had the clay for a little while and it's been uh, put to one side and you come to it and you find that it's a little bit um, too hard. I want to show you how you can recuperate your clay very easily. If you take your, if you open one of these and you find that it is in fact too hard, strip off the plastic and see, you see what I've done there? Now that's basically just with another one of our uh, chopsticks, I've, I've punched it all over like that. I don't know if you can see, I've, I've, I've punched it down all around with my fist, so it's sort of slightly raised up here around the sides. And then I've pricked it all over with the chopstick. Okay? So, when you've done that, just a case then of putting it in. I use an old um, one of these bags we get from the supermarket. Okay. Not wanting to go in there very well for some reason. I've ripped the bag. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. So. Just get some water and just pour it over liberally into the holes. Okay? And then put it into a bag and wrap it up tightly, like that, all over. Better than I can do with this bag because this one is ripped, but I've, I've got a good bag, it hasn't got holes in it. Okay? And cover it and leave it like that. If you leave it like that for about 24 hours, you should find when you come back to it, take off the plastic, tip out any excess water and then start kneading it and wedging it and you should find that uh, that will um, bring the clay back into a much more soft and usable state. Just a quick tip but useful one. Thought I'd share it with you. Okay, we'll see you.